Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting, BillyDavidsonVIP.com. We're going to talk about parking lot striping. We're about to do about six hours of parking lot striping. We've got a ton of paint here at the facility, but I want to show you something that could help you out on your next striping job. And also, if you're interested in learning more about the striping industry, go to BillyDavidsonVIP.com. Also, there will be a link in the description where you can obtain a very exclusive course that will teach you everything you need to know to get started in the parking lot striping world. So guys, look, we're using a solvent-based paint tonight for a very specific reason, very specific application, the ambient temperature, the humidity, all that plays a part in what type of paint we're using at a facility. And it could change tomorrow night, depending on the weather. So you really need to know what you're doing when you're choosing the right type of traffic paint. Like I always say, there's about a dozen different types of traffic paint out there, and each one has a very specific application and formulated for it. So that leads me to this little thing I want to talk about. I've actually seen people reconstitute their solvent-based paint with gasoline. Guys, gasoline goes in the tank, not in the paint. What we use in solvent-based paint to reconstitute it is paint thinner. Yes, this is more expensive. This is $3 a gallon. This is probably $15 a gallon, but using the gasoline in your paint is really bad on your machine. Like it could really damage it. Like no kidding, it's got ethanol in it. It's got some other detergents in it and it's not designed to run through these little pumps. Also, it changes the complete molecular makeup of your paint, causing it not to cure properly, not to adhere properly. And also it doesn't look as good. It starts to fade out the pigment of the paint that you're using. So guys, make sure you use mineral spirits when applicable. Sometimes we use water to reconstitute our paint if we're using latex, but solvent-based paint, paint thinner only, no gasoline. And if you would like to find more out information about the parking lot striping industry, check out the description. There'll be some information in there that'll help you. If this video has been helpful, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave us a comment. We'll be reading them, and we hope to see you in the next video.